Goff throws, pass incomplete for Everett. Good throw by Goff, and Everett couldn't haul it in. Now it's fourth down. Well, it's a great throw, and now you ask yourself if you're McVay, are you going for it or he's going for it? You've got the two minute warning with 208, but two timeouts left as well. Those are, that's a. Now the Seahawks were outside of two minutes. Look at Thompson. Hand under it, I think hand it's an under it. And then he secures it. And the Seahawks are going to challenge. And this could, in essence, end the night. The crowd saw it on the replay board, and now you see it. What an effort by Tedrick Thompson. That's such a great job by him, keeping it alive. It sure looks to me like that ball is intercepted. So the challenge, and it looks like they'll win it. On the first pick of the year by Tedrick Thompson, and there's how good that throw was from Goff and Everett reacting to him not catching it before the interception is even secured. Well, Gerald Everett, he just, you can't believe it. That was, that was a really well thrown ball put right where it needed to be. And that picture says it all. That did not hit the turf. Mike Pereira, you agree? I don't think there's any question, Joe. It does not get to the ground. The bobble, the hands underneath. If it doesn't touch the ground, it's a clear interception. Well, there's 2.08 left. You'll get a stop at the two-minute warning. The Rams have two timeouts. It sure looks like the Seahawks are going to take over. Hey, Joe, you know they're going to take over when the umpire already spotted the ball at the 48-yard line. <laughs> so that's a pretty good idea that they're going to reverse this. 49-yard line, actually. After reviewing the play, the defender had his hands underneath the ball and maintained possession. It is an interception. Seattle will not be charged with the timeout. It will be first and 10 at Seattle's 49.